Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vapor, and today we're looking at a Vaporesso Target PM80. Let's do this! So I've literally just this second received this little beast. Let's crack it open and have a look. So there's the pod mod, integrated battery, all that thing. There's a pod. It's that pretty. Fits in quite nice and firmly. And a spare pod. You don't see that often. Coils, which I'll have to check up on, but they look very similar to another coil I've seen. They, they're spare um, rubber bungs. Oh, fabric charger, micro USB, ugh. And the log. Warranty card. The press or target, use a manual. Coil in four. And to counterfeit instruction is cracking. So I'm gonna get to you play it and I'll see you later. It's 102 by 32 by 25. Wow. That there is a 0.96 inch TFT screen. True that. It's got a 2000 milliamp hour battery and it goes up in increments of 0.5 from 5 watts all the way up to a mega 80 watts. I mean, seriously, look at the size. That little finger's to 80 watts. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It has 2 amp micro USB charging port. It's got a 2 or 4 wheel pod depending whether you're in TPD or not. Thanks to the axe and micro shipping fires in 0.001 second. That's fast. It has the GTX coils, which you just push pull nice little uh, tight coils there. The GTX has got six different types of coil. Include one of them is including a RBA, which is always nice to have with this type of system. It's got pulse mode, it's also got smart wattage, which suggest which one you should be using and loads of protection like low voltage, input voltage, no load short circuit and heat protection, overheat protection, you know what I mean. Five clicks on, five clicks off, three clicks lock, three clicks unlock. It's that simple, real simple. You can also change a the theme to green, blue or purple, suiting whatever suits you best. I got green because that's what it came with and I like green, green's good. <laughs> So what's the thoughts? Well, there's one thing I didn't mention in that section that the Vapress on website says, and that's adjustable airflow. While I was looking at me earlier, I noticed the Vapress on said it's got adjustable airflow, and it hasn't got adjustable airflow, guys. It's just quite simple. Straight through these holes here. See that? That's nice. Straight into them, straight into the coil, straight. I've just been editing the video, and I've just made a Realise I made a mistake. I said it didn't have just a blare flow, but it kind of does. These little red bungs here, they're designed to fit into these holes. So in theory, if you carry them around with you, it does have just a blare flow, because you can half it or fully turn it off. I don't quite class that as just a blare flow. If you want to class that as just a blare flow, you can. 
but in my eyes it's it's like a cop art, not really just a blare flow. I also realised I forgot to mention what liquids. I did try it with a 70 VG and it's not really, I didn't think it handled it that well. I think it struggled to pull it through. But the 50 PG, love it. But with the 70 30, not a fan. It's that simple. <clears throat> now I've told you a fair bit about the coils, like including the six different types, one of which is RB8. Something I didn't mention, it tells you in the instructions, it tells you on the website, but I didn't notice it until my guy, Little Bro Vips, pointed it out the other day because he's already reviewed it. There's a flat edge, very hard to see. There's a flat edge. Focus. There's a flat edge here, and there's a flat edge here on the coil. When you look at the coils, they look perfectly round, but in fact, it is flattered. The coil needs to fit banging that way, or it don't, and it's quite, the reason it's so hard to tell is it do not protrude a lot, it just edges out a little bit, but it needs to go that way, stop leakage, and it'll also allow uh, the connection properly. But having said that, I have had quite a few times where that sign's come up, telling me that there's no atomizer connected, even when it has been. Not so much since I put the coil in the right way, but it has still come up once or twice for no reason after that. But moving on, the 2000 milliamp hour battery is quite nice and generous. If you took a two second puff every other minute, it would last you for about seven and a half hours. Took a two second puff every, mi uh, every minute, it's obviously only going to last you half that, three and a half hours, four hours. But I had a fun with it, I've quite enjoyed using it. I ex didn't expect the battery to last as long as it did. It's quite nice, quite efficient. But if that's not for you, there is also a Vipress or a Target PM8. Uh, SE and that has a space for 86, 18650 battery. So there is always room for improvement and there is a version out there for you. Now I think it looks pretty damn decent. I just realised I haven't shown you the colours and stuff so I'll put it on the screen now. But let's go back to this. Here you've got aluminium alloy making up a body with a padded sticker on the back. Not too bad, it's just nice, nice and comfy. Like I said, it fits the end quite nicely. It's not too big, not too small. It's awesome. The 0.96 inch screen is pretty decent. Nice and prominent, not too bright, not too dark. Clear, not overly complicated, not too big, not too small. I like the screen. I'm not gonna lie, I like the entire device. Look at that, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As I said before, it goes from air the babadi. As I said before, it goes from five to eighty watts in increments of 0.5, so five, 0.5, uh, 5.5, 5, 6, 6.5, so on and so forth. But what really pisses me off about put all pod mods really, the smock and the Vupu alike, this one goes up to 80 watts, the Vinci goes up to 80, X goes up to 80 watts and smocks one goes up to 80 watts but none of the coils ever go up to 80 watts as well which pisses me off the highest recommended coil you can get for this beast is 60 watts and that's what i'm using now i'm using a 55 and i've got to say it's pretty damn good one thing i do like about this is you can turn smart voltage wattage off which that basically is smart voltage wattage is basically if we turn this up to let's say 66, bang that in the right way, and it'll bang it down to what the mod reckons it should run at, the most optimised uh, wattage, if you call it. But I can then turn it back up and use it at 60. I like that, awesome there. But it can get a bit annoying, it turns me off the poo quite a bit because I don't want it to, automatic, to automatically recommend what I should be using now. And that's just fine because with this, you can actually turn that off so you can have it at 60, bang the pod back on and it'll stay at 60. That's nice, that's what we like. So let's go back to the pod. The pod is a PETG pod, which basically just means the type of plastic it is. The coils to one side, you can see, which I think is nice, especially when you're in that liquid. 
Can very be like that. All your liquids down and low. I like it. I like it a lot. You'll also see you have a rubber bung. Now, if I take the rubber bung out, you'll see it's quite a nice, thick, sturdy bung. But there's also one more thing you might not have noticed, especially if you know me well. I managed to get that straight out without a hitch, which is nothing. That, which is something I can't use to say to back pods because I ain't got any nails at all. My fingernails are stay. But with that, I can get it in and out quite easily, purely because it goes across the entire length of the pod. So you just push it up, basically. It's real nice, I like that. It's simple, it's easy, it's Harley friendly. And there is more, one more thing I like about it, because the entire pod is clear, there is a bit you can see by the way, the volume reducer because it's TPD. But because of volume, it's clear and it's sloped, you can pretty much very easily see your volume, uh, liquid level. It's nice, I like it, it's highly approved. So do you have wise watches saying, would you buy one? The answer is simply yes. As whenever I view pods, I view it on an unbiased basis. This, it, the, the entire concept of pod pods piss me off. It's a pod or it's a mod. It's not a pod, it's a mod with a pod top. And then because you can put your own coils in, I don't even think it's class. You know what I mean? To me, a pod is something like the Novo, but Moving on from that, I do like this. It, I think it's better than the Vupu. I think it's better than um, the Smock version. I think it's even better than the Geek Vape version. I do like it. I like it a bloody well a lot. A boom. My brain's still not fully come back to life after doing the 50 Travel Live, so I can't remember where we are with the last giveaway. If I haven't announced it yet, I'm announcing it this week on the live video on Thursday. However, this one is now up for giveaway and will be announced next week. So you know what you have to do, you have to subscribe, read the terms and conditions below, scroll down a bit more and then comment. That's all you have to do. But it would be nice if you'd give me a thumbs up, it'd be even better if you'd share the video. Thanks, much love. Also in your comment down below, let me know what you think about this video. I've gone back to the format I was doing not too long ago, where I put in segments, blah blah blah. I've also gone to a bit more effort to make sure the right information's in there. I feel like my reviews have been not as good as they used to be, so I'm putting more effort back into putting how they used to be, because I think that's better. Let me know what you think. Check out my channel on Thursday for this week's weekly live, which will be continuing this week. Channel's just a general chat. Some quiz questions about vaping, chill out, have some fun, and have a chance to win some merch as well. Um, anyone that is interested in merch, VM Print has now got its own website, we'll be sharing that soon. So until Thursday or next Tuesday, you know what you gotta do, you gotta stay safe, but you've also gotta stay cloudy!